Hi everyone, this is Connie from Connie's Nails and Creative Creations. As you can see, you can see my creation and my inspiration. Now this is a challenge that I'm taking part in and Elena Jenkins from Elena Jenkins DIY is the host and her co-host this month is Elizabeth from Dandy Soap DIY and the name of this challenge is inspired by challenge so let's get right to it all right this is a plaque i got at um, the dollar tree i took off that joy and i pulled as much as the paper off now i'm not going to be using this side but i didn't want anything loose so i just wanted it to be smooth so i followed through and just kept pulling until i got her all done Okay, now I've got it completely done, so I turn it over and grab my um, chalk paint that I made, and I am just painting the whole back side. Now, I end up putting two coats of this white paint on this so that I can get it covered really well. Okay, now that I have it covered, I'm going to um, dry it with my heat gun. Just uh, quicken the pace so that it doesn't take very long to uh, go from one step to the next. Then I'm going to grab my blue paint and my white paint and I'm mixing it to make it, um, I don't know what I'd call it, a, uh, just a really pretty blue, light blue. But... Um, I go ahead and I am going to use my old chippy brush and I'm going to put it all over the back. And it's okay if it's not a solid coat. I kind of want it to look that way. I want it to look like the sky, maybe ice, you know, in behind um, the penguin. I love Christmas penguins. I think they are absolutely beautiful. And that's why I decided to do this. I found this the image on Pinterest. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to recreate it my way. So, let's just get right into this. Okay, so I went on to uh, the internet and I found this clip art. And I am using um, uh, traceable, I don't even remember what it's called, paper. And so I'm just tracing it with it onto the blue um, plaque. And I'm getting it all traced up. Okay, now that it's all done, and I've got it all traced, I'm going to grab my black paint, and I'm going to start painting all the black parts of this little penguin.
Okay, now that I'm finishing that up, I'm going to grab my white paint again. And I'm just going to start painting all of the white parts of the little penguin. Making sure that I um, get it in there really well. And I do end up going over all of the white twice. Uh, twice. Once I'm done with that, I grab my orange and I do his little feet and then I'm going to do his beak. Okay, I was going to uh, do black paint around the outline and I decided to go with um, a paint pen, that I, a paint marker that I got at Dollar General. So I am just uh, doing black outline on everything, but I don't do the hat. Um, I don't do the feet, I don't think either. I don't remember if I did that because I highlighted it, but I go all over um, where I wanted all the black outline to be. Then I'm going to grab a small paintbrush and some red paint. And now I'm not doing really dark, so it looks more pink, and that's okay. So I am doing the brim of the, the hat. And I have to do the um, scarf, and then I'm going to do the hat, the top of the hat. decided to go ahead and go over all of the red. I wanted it to not look so translucent, so I went ahead and went over all of it just so that it was uh, more opaque, even though it still wasn't a bright red. It wasn't as light as it was prior to that. 
Now I'm going back in with the paint marker and I'm going around the hat um, with that and anywhere else that um, I decided to go over. Maybe the paint went over it a little bit or whatever. And now I'm doing some touch up with my white paint marker just to make sure that all the lines were nice and crisp and clear. Um, I'm just doing all the little detail work now. I took some polyfill and I'm hot gluing that right on the top, the end of the, the hat, like the ball, to make it look really poofy. Okay, now I'm taking some of that white paint, a little bit of blue and water to water it right down. And I'm just kind of going side to side to make it look like it's a different texture. So maybe the sky's above, um, just trying to make it more of a foreground than a background. So once I get that done, then once it's dry, I grab this, uh, my Mod Podge and this glitter flaky snow from Dollar Tree and I'm just putting it all over that area so it looks like he is standing in snow and that's the reason why I wanted to do that foreground it made it look like it was the sky was behind him and this is something he's standing on Once I get that done, I set him aside and I grab this ribbon that I got at Dollar Tree and it's a burlap with blue um, snowflakes. So I'm just making a bow and it's quite of a messy bow. It um, There's no wire in it so I was just flipping it back and forth and I'm wiring it and I am going to glue that right on with no tails. I'm just poofing up all of the loops and I'm just gonna glue it right there to that corner. And um, then I'm trying to figure out what rope I want and I, the bow came off. I'm like, okay, this isn't gonna work so I need to do something else. So I grabbed my Gorilla um, glue in my super glue and I put that down and then I put it on there and then I used some more hot glue and that stuck. Then I grabbed my jute and I put it on as a hanger. And that is a finished and I hope you guys enjoy this. And please do not forget to, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and give me a great big thumbs up. You guys have a great day. Enjoy. Bye.